Are you ready for kettlebells? How's this cool filter? Love it. Right, um, we are doing a quick disclaimer for Inverness Leisure. Ooh, ah. uh, make sure that you are fit and well to train, that you have clearance from your GP, and that you are aware that exercise can cause injury. We have royalty free rock streaming. You like my, my cool bunny hat and my rainbow? That's good. Right, let's get going. Who's here? <laughs> Lorraine. <laughs> right, you need some weights. Let's get this show on the road. I'm keeping it to 30 minutes today. Uh, just short and sweet again. Um, we are doing kettlebells. So, uh, one minute and exercise. Three exercises. The first exercise is weighted. The second exercise is some kind of push-up. And the third exercise is an ab exercise. So we are doing weights, push-ups, abs. Weights, push-ups, abs. <laughs> are you ready? Okay, so get yourself a, a weight to swing. Get yourself some heavy weights for... We've got swings, push-ups, sit-ups. High pull, tricep push-ups, sit-ups. Uh, ground to overhead. Oh, we didn't kick a bell, sorry. So we've got deadlifts, push-ups, scissors. Bend over row, tricep push-ups, cherry bombs. Ground to overhead, Spider-Man push-up, reverse crunch, and sumo pop-ups, Hindu dive bombers, and V-sits. Are you ready? Right, let's get going. No, you're not the only one, Lorraine. Annette's here, Colin's here, Mum's here. Let's go. Are you ready? I could just dance all day. <laughs> right, roll the shoulders. Okay, so literally do some squats, bum back. Hip openers. Your first move is going to be one minute of deadlifts. Then we've got one minute of wide push ups and one minute of elbow scissors on the floor. Who's sending me love? Are you ready? I am. Right, let's pick up the weights. Deadlifts, you want heavy, okay? Got it? Get it? Good. All right, let's go. Watch us on. Bend the knees, pick up your weights. Shoulders back. Deadlift. So you want to keep your shoulders back. Nice flat back. Squeeze. Squeeze your butt as you stand up. If you're doing this without breaks, mimic the move. So we are going to do six full minutes of work and then you're going to get one minute rest. Okay? If you need anything extra in between, take it. I'm just wondering if I put my watch on. So you've got wide push-ups coming up next. Okay, there we go. Wide push-ups. Hands nice and wide. Thumbs slide out from the nipple line. Elbows back 45 degrees. Chin off chest. If you are doing it with your knees down, show you from the side. Knees are down, hips lift your toes so that your hips go down as well, okay? You don't want to be doing them like this, okay? That's not going to help anyone. It's going to hurt your shoulders. Keep one shoulder on the floor and point the armpit 
or the elbow to the opposite knee. Okay? Karen, hello. Half an hour's work, that's all it is. Give everything you've got. Ten seconds. Okay. Pick up your heavy weights again. How are we doing? Let's put that back on. Right, pick up your weights. We're going to deadlifts. Chest up, bum back. Shake the legs. Microbend in the knee, shoulders are back. Your hands should only come to your shins. Squeeze the bum as you stand up. So if you've got kettlebells, this is a kettlebell class, then you'll be doing one weight with a heavy bell. Most people at home have got dumbbells, so I've been giving you the dumbbell option. But if you've got kettlebells, clearly you can use them. That's it. Go into wide push-ups. If you want to, you can go on your weights. Knees or toes. Right in. So you want a nice straight line from the knees to the shoulders or from the toes to the shoulders. And you want your elbows back 45 degrees, chin off chest, abs in. Feet wide. So if you're on your knees, same. Shoulder comes down to elbow level. Burning six seconds. Rest. Oh, I'm so excited. My poiki pipe just arrived. It's like a big cauldron, so I'm now a witch. Yay. Right, our next group of exercises. You've got bent over row, tricep push ups, and cherry bombs. Bent over row, get a medium weight. Oh, look at the little pink love hearts. Ah. <laughs> it's official. I think I have lost it. Yes, yes. Right, bent over row. Medium to heavy weights. Tip from the hip. And you're going to row for a minute here. If you want to, you can turn your hands and pull back. Doing a reverse grip row. The further over you tip, the more it's working the back muscles. Okay, we've got 10 seconds left. <laughs> love it. I love this filter. Right. Pick up your weights. Let's go. Flat back. Can you see that? And row. Row. Keep going. My music stopped. I'm having issues with music today, I tell you. Oof. Dip. Row. 
Never try and take hair out of your eye when you've got a weight in your hand. It's kind of like scratching your face when you're carrying a bag of dog poop. Doesn't work. So can you see the tailbone is stuck back? It's hard because I'm wearing black. Uh, you should be able to see with the light that nice little flat line in the back. The further over you tip, the higher you've got to pull the weight. But you do not want a round back, okay? It doesn't matter if you're here. Stick your tailbone out and row. If it is too much, reset, drop, row for two. That's it. Now, next one, tricep push-ups. So on a tricep push-up, come down to the floor. Hands close to the body. Rotate the palm of the elbow. There's the palm. So the elbows come to the back. And push off. Chin off chest. Elbows in. Palms flat to the floor. If you're on your knees, it's the same move. At the bottom, your head is way ahead of your hands. So you've got a nice triangle. And you squeeze the triceps and push up. If you need to, sit back. Do three or do one one. If you're new to tricep push ups, they're tough. So you can sit, push, pull. Or do two. If you're fine on your knees, lift one leg. Okay, cherry bombs. Don't worry, we've got two rounds, we'll get used to those again. Cherry bombs. You're up, back then. Cherry bomb here, out, and up. Out, and up. Breathe. It's warm today. So if you need to, you can touch down, but try and keep the limbs off the floor. You could make it hard by not touching the legs and just swimming round and up. Breathe out as you come up. If it is too hard to fall, do one leg out and alternate the leg that goes out. You're adding a little rock, I'm catching my back on the floor. So pick your level and stick with it. Right, back to the top, bent over row. Grab your weights. To forward and row. I get my hat on. Row. <laughs> row. Remember I said you can reset, so you can do two, stand tall, reset. It's a big one, heavy weight, because you lose your form and you'll hurt yourself. So if you've got two kettlebells, you're holding them by the handle, pulling back. And again, tricep push-ups, elbows into the ribs, pull the elbows back. So that's the position you're looking for at the top of the push-up, okay? Don't let the elbows wing up. Keep them in and close this gap under the arm. If it's too easy for you, add in a leg lift. Or you just put your feet on a step and do a decline tricep, depending on your level. There's no limits. It's open for all levels in this workout. Ten seconds. All right, cherry bombs. Pinching my back. 
Ten seconds. Moving backwards. Ah, that's us. Rest. Okay. Last round of work is uh, snatches. So you're going to do 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other, or let's do the whole round on one side. Okay? So ground to overhead. Let's do 30 seconds, otherwise you're going to end up with one broken shoulder. You can do dive bombers. Uh, these ones. Option is child's pose. Down, 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 hips in, pull back, and then uh, reverse crunches. So let's do single leg V-sit instead, because we just did reverse crunches in the last class. Okay, are you ready? Grab your weight, let's go. Ground to overhead. So, if you've got a kettlebell, you'll be doing a 10 press. Or you can do ground to overhead. Just watch your watch. Here. Okay, so that's if you've got a bell. I prefer doing it with a dumbbell anyways. Oh, you may as well stay on one side. We're 20 seconds left. Oh, we get Spider Man push ups. Okay, a Spider Man push up is that one is up for the next round. Spider-Man push-up is one knee. You can keep your knees on the floor and bring it up. See from the side, hands are wide and one arm is coming in. Tricep, so this will be the tricep side and you push off that arm. We've got another round of this. So you really feel this in your core as well as your shoulders. All right. Then we've got a single leg. Tuck in. Single leg reset. So one leg. So if you can't get all the way up, you can crunch one leg here. Okay? Or you can do a straight leg up, up, and just pick up your speed a little bit. Okay? Go, see from the side here, you can see how I'm sitting in the squat and then slam straight up. Hips back. Other arm is out for balance. Have 
legs are nice and strong. Spider push-ups. So, on the floor, and if you're on your knees, you come back, come forward, bring the knee in, and push. So try and hold the knee off the floor, lean in, Just make sure it doesn't hit your chin, okay? Hindu dive bombers I showed you, and V-sits will show you when we get there. You ready? Pick up your weight. Go. So, sumo squat, back flat, catch the weight as you pop up. From the side, hips back, chest up, catch, pop the elbows in. So do be careful you don't smack yourself under the chin. You only do it once, but it's not pleasant. Probably knock your teeth out. Breathe in, breathe out. Make sure your bum is going back and your chest is up and your back is nice and flat. Squeeze your butt as you stand up. Get the full work in the glutes. You got Henry Dark Bombers coming up next. Dive bomber push ups. Okay, so I'll show you a full one and then you can do baby ones. You're in down dog, hands wide, feet wide, and you roll through. Bend elbows, hips down, push yourself back up. So you breathe in. And out. Your option modified. Knees, elbows go wide, 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 wide. Drop the hips in. Pull back. Both of them work really well. This one works your shoulders a little bit more because you're holding down low. You have to get the hips in. Right. V sits, both legs. On your back. So the option. 
option is just to sit up without the V-sit, okay? Or you can do a V-crunch, you're on by the way, or straight legs. If you want the hardest option, you don't touch down. Pick a level. Let's go. Hair is hitting my face today. So you hang in the sumo squat, touches the floor, catch it in a goblet. So don't drop it. Tuck those elbows in, stand tall. Remember your other option if you don't like doing that is a curl here. Sumo squat, curl. If you are doing that, chest stays up, sit in the squat, bicep curl. Okay, down bombers. Hands nice and wide. You gotta bend the elbows. Twenty seconds. Come on, let's go. Ah. And you're done. All right, let's stretch. See if I'm in a quite stretch. It's very close today, even though it's overpriced. Other side. Hup. Ah. Lucky my walls are close enough for me to step. Up. Yeah, bring these to chest. So make sure you're drinking plenty of water if you're doing all these workouts. Bring your arm across and she's back. Open. Well done girls. 
And boys, they were doing it on ketchup. Uh, I like this frame. Good, take the hands behind your back. I like it, it's very cool. Hey, okay. oh, look at the little hearts. Cool. Right, girls, boys, have a lovely day further. There is one more class left in today that's being recorded. If you want to do it, it's on at half past. Okay, take care of you. See you soon. Bye.